What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I am here back on the lake, getting ready to show you the front bow of my boat, my brand new 2020 Triton. But we wanna talk about these electronics. I know you guys were so interested about what uh, I posted on Instagram. I have three separate units. I have a Humbert, a Lowrance, and uh, a Garmin up front. And so I'm gonna dive into that a little bit here. If you missed my console video, uh, I will put that in the description below so that way you guys can go back and see some of the reasons why I chose to to run the two units I did back there. So without further ado, let's jump into this real quick. So looking at just these units in general, you know, you can obviously tell this is sort of how I'm gonna set them up. I have a Humminbird Helix 12, I have a Larange HDS Live, I have a Garmin, I'm not even sure the model number on that one, believe it or not, but long story short, I have three separate, completely different units and they all have their own purpose. Now, the Larange unit, is something that I've I've used for several years now. And the big thing with the Lowrance for me is my waypoint management, um, icons uh, up front where I can share those. That's a, it's a huge, huge deal. And then 2D as well, but I'm sort of, I figured something out recently, messing around with it that I was sort of surprised. So waypoint management is the biggest thing because realistically I've spent countless days, years of history on on a lot of these fisheries and I have a, a waypoint uh, management system of basically an icon means this to me, uh, this means that, um, down to the size of rock, to a bigger rock, to a type of tree, to everything. It's very, uh, very precise and so I could not do without my Lowrance, my Lowrance unit up front. I also really uh, enjoy point one, um, being able to roll up to a place, know where you're at, the range rings are, are great, the heading extension, um, that I, I really did. That's something that I, I don't know if I could live without. So that is the reason for the Lowrance unit. Um, the one thing that I have noticed just running bold, 2D on the Humberts actually really surprised me. There's times where, especially in shallow water, where I'd be in like three or four foot of water, and that I would be able to see grass and rock a little bit better. It wasn't as clear on my Lowrance unit. Now I have not gone out and dropped on them or anything like that, but I'm actually running the transducer in the head of the Ultrex right now on this unit particularly right now. So uh, now I'm waiting on one thing for the Humminbird. I, I'm waiting on the 360. So I actually had bought a, a 360 unit, um, an older 360 unit last year and uh, not the, the brand new Mega 360, but uh, I bought one brand new. I guess something's up with it broke. Um, they had an issue, I guess, for a while there. Uh, and that's why they came out with the Mega 360, made them a little bit more durable. So I'm hoping that that is the case. I actually just sent it back to Humminbird. Hopefully I have it back in time um, for the follow event. So I'm not going to be able to go in too depth in depth on that side of things but that is a reason why i brought i have the 360 where i can see around and the big thing for that that i've seen is i can see out far and i can see out like more so and i don't even know if it's like it's more so like just seeing a stump or seeing like a ditch um it's, it's just more information now the one thing that i want to i want to sort of preface this whole thing with all of these units are great phenomenal but realistically unless i'm fishing offshore tournaments like chickamauga in the summertime um you know, maybe like spotted bass fisheries in, in the summer. Uh, I would say on average, I'm gonna use, you know, use these units probably as far as the side scan, down scan, all that, probably 30% of the tournaments this year. Um, now, the thing is, if that 30% where I have two events or something that I'm using these and I win one tournament because of my setup or I finish higher, it's worth it to me. And then ultimately I did this for all of you because I wanted to sort of be able to have the opportunity to tell you all what I personally felt uh, about each unit, you know, not being tied down. I bought all of these units. These weren't given to me. I bought them with my own money and I wanted to try to do this because I knew I hadn't seen anybody else at least doing this uh, exact setup and, and posting about it online. So I wanted to sort of do it as teaching my viewers uh, and, and showing them some things that I learned along the way. And this is the thing, it's gonna take me a while to figure out what all the intricate details, what makes unit, each unit the best. Now, I've heard great things about Garmin, Garmin 2D that is. Mark Daniels talks so highly about it, and I've seen it where there's times that I feel like it would be the Lowrance unit, no doubt. Out deep in 40 foot of water, I seen one time we were out in Lake Martin messing around, and I'm like, wow, that's crisp. So those are the things that I want to talk about, and I don't want to be uh, locked into one particular deal. So 
that is the reason now last but not least the garmin unit i have not spent a lot of time on this the reason obviously you guys should know it's it's the live scope the thing about live scope is you cannot see really far out you know you're this is this is out to 70 feet right there um and that's that's a pretty clean image right you know but you're not gonna you're gonna see your detail now we're only in four five six foot of water so you're not gonna be able to see all of the uh, you know all the things that you know you might see in, in 20 or 30 foot of water But there's things that I'll be able to see like maybe like that It might be like a little stump or a little twig or maybe some grass Those are the, the way that's going to sort of show up. I'm still learning on this unit I think the the sky is the limit. I really feel I'm excited about it because I think that it the biggest thing that I'm I'm, I'm really excited about this unit is is just seeing fish behavior now the one thing that i am worried about and i've seen myself doing this already is getting too caught up with trying to fish for a couple fish or you know say i have them follow my bait i'm sitting there trying to catch them sometimes that's not a good thing so you're gonna have in tournament situations i'm gonna have to be careful getting caught up almost like sight fishing a particular bass um that i can see on my electronics but they're not biting. So it's, it's like going to a bed fish and being like, you sit there for, for an hour, you can waste a lot of time with this unit if you don't, uh, you don't sort of get a game plan and understand a little bit more about it. So I'm gonna have to spend a little bit more time on this unit to understand it and see what it's really the whole value of this thing and what it really can do. But overall, that is the setup right here. Uh, I'm excited about it. I'm excited to show you guys more content throughout the year. The one thing I will tell you, all of these units are set up on the boat logic mounts it's a company here in chattanooga um this one up front and those in the back but the really cool one about the whole this whole deal i had to make this custom so if i say i'm fishing on okeechobee which we have in tournament on okeechobee i wanted sort of like a ram mount style mount but this is locked down this is rock solid now i, I the thing all i have to do if i want to take this off i unscrew this guy right here my hands are barely working a little chilly out here Okay, unscrew him, shift him, bam, off. Then when I want him back on, set it up, screw him back in. And it is rock solid. They did a great job. The guys at Boat Logic did a phenomenal job with this deal. And this is something that if I'm flipping or I'm really gonna be fishing shallow water, roll casting, I don't wanna be messing that thing up. Uh, and I'll just take it off for that particular day. But when I'm out fishing deep, or I'm trying to sort of, might think I might fish offshore some point in time in the day, I'm gonna make sure I have this bad boy set up. So thank you guys so much for following along. If you're a new subscriber to the channel, thank you so much. If you've been around for a little while, uh, I really appreciate your guys' support. Make sure to hit the notification button and we'll see you guys next time.